Hi friends, here is a TTK bootstrap table view and we have already discussed how this data comes and how we can set the different different parameters for this uh, table view. Now you will see, you can see here that we have a row at the end which says that what is the sum of all the mark columns and here is another row which says that what is the who has got the highest mark. Similarly lowest mark or there are average mark all those the summary row can be added we will learn about that plus some other functionality by like uh, on a button click how we will remove a uh, row or how you will export it to a, in a csv file all this we will learn now we will start from here this is where our uh, importing our bootstrap and some constant and the bootstrap table view that's what we are going to use it and let's just i'll paste some code here and this particular we have declared the table view and this we have de discussed in the previous uh, tutorial where we have discussed how the data is integrated what are these options are these options with various uh, by changing it we have discussed that just follow that one the same thing we have created one widget and uh, let's just see this how this looks we can see this also here it is this is a blank there is no uh, data is there now we will connect to data to get the data I will use another file so I am saying from now my ttk table sources import now two two uh, variables I am importing l1 comma r underscore set what are these two because this particular python file holds these two data this ttk table sources Oh, your sources here it is this to this file I am here I am holding two uh, you can see one variable l1 contains the headers list ID name class mark gender for our and here are 10 rows of data stored on uh, r underscore set or record set this we have also discussed previously now we can just copy this this much and sorry these two variables and directly paste it here and use that instead of that what we are doing it we are calling that particular python file and getting these two variables now th that you may ask what is the problem in putting it it is because we have a plan to utilize various other sources where we will get the same two variables you can see here the in this below that we have commented lot of lines this is from mysql database sqlite excel csv pandas data frame all this for each one has four five lines of code we will we have commented all the lines because we are directly taking it from this in the next tutorial other sources also will explore so for that purposes we kept it in a separate file and this also we are importing only this much these two variables from the top and rest below that all lines are commented in the next we will see that so that we are getting it here now we will integrate these two variables so for that we will say dv dot build table now data so we will give here the first one is what is our l1 or the headers header list then r set so this will give us let's move up a bit so this gives us our uh, our uh, two uh, variables record set and the l1 both are connected to our table now now that will reflect so the data will be reflected but as we know in the previous we had declared because there will be a slight um, alignment issue so we'll auto fit it dv dot auto fit underscore columns so it will whatever the it will within the available space it will take it now we'll say dv load data because only connection will not do it is like refreshing a load table underscore data so now with these three lines we are just connecting it here now let's just run this and see how, how it looks here you can see to 10 records whatever it is we are uh, whatever we have uh, taken as a, a row and the, and this headers list l1 contains this list of 1 2 3 4 5 five headers are there that we have configured as l1 then r underscore set is what we are getting this 10 records so now already because you, you can see here let us let me close this you can see here that paging everything we have paginated is true searchable is false so yeah there is no search bar so at the top we can give that search bar also so if you make it true so now on this we'll add a summary set 
sorry it is summary row we'll add so for that let's calculate the uh, create a list out of the total data whatever r set is having with marks column so for that we are saying marks equal to now marks value equal to it is a list so for that we'll create a list now we are saying r uh, for r for r in rec r set so we are creating an array but here we have to say that it is a third one we are taking we are not taking the entire row so third is id name class mark so mark is the index position is 3 so i am saying 3 now once i am saying this 3 r for the r r in red set i am only picking up the marks and creating the my creating my list here so and one more thing is this particular should have a integers because from other when you are taking it from other sources like database and all we may get it as a varkar or a string so i am considering it as an integer so i have that now say i if i i can also verify this by printing it now the marks is it is a list of all the marks i'll write it list of all marks now what happens i can get a sum of this and create my uh, summary row what i will be adding it so for that uh, I, I'll come to the end auto feed then I will load table B for just before this auto feed columns okay here I will insert it so dv dot insert row now where it will be I'll be inserting at the end bottom after 10th row so it should be 11th row so I'm saying insert it at the end then I am saying some because I have to match the uh, values that match the, all the five columns so i am saying values equal to a list now in the list here first one is our id so i am giving a blank here just i am matching the format nothing that uh, i will create some blank uh, thing guy giving that uh, dash here now here i am saying name place i am writing sum so this is not any is a string sum only no it is not doing anything great for me so all this is id name class class means i am below the class column i am writing it as all then what i am doing it is placing the sum here comes the my sum sum of mark so this will sorry this marks so this will read, uh, put up the sum of the total mark now another one is gender there also i am writing all because I have to match the entire columns. So actually my, my uh, outcome is this one. I am just matching the format. So I am inserted it. Now let me just run it and see how it is. Yeah, you can see here the sum is this row. I have selected all. My total mark is there. This whatever format I have given here. The same thing it is it is coming and one extra summary row is added now you may ask okay let's add one more which holds the max value yes that can be done i'll just close this and i am what i am doing instead of rewriting i am copying this now i will place it here here instead in place of sum i am saying max max now here instead of sum i am saying max now you can add one more also by using mi and min so the minimum value who got in the class will come up now let's just see this see i see here sum is there max is there which is the highest mark is 85 you can check it off here yeah the for the year it is the highest mark is 85 you can just replace it with a max with min you will get the minimum mark will understand how the when you use pagination how this summary is uh, rows are going to be affected for that purpose let me just change this our source a bit and that is the why i have gave use this a separate file now i will just comment this three line this data uh, source i am not going to use this and i am commenting up to this point so both are i have removed now now in now i i need more data so i have to what happened another copy paste i have to do instead of that now i am changing the source and going for mysql database now i am i removed this now you just note that i am getting the same l1 and r set 
from a different source anyway all this we will discuss in our next how our different sources will change now i am saving this so now i what is the advantage is you just see this is i am getting all the records around 33 rows of data i am now i am getting so i am putting it here and paging is already there now let me save this because now whatever r set and records i am getting this has contains around 30 plus records so how the summary row it each page it, it will affect now page size i am just changing this one uh, height i am keeping it 12 page size i am giving 10 so 10 records will come next page another 10 next page another like that it will be but height i am giving little more because the summary rows also it should be accommodated let's just run this and see so i should get the outputs now yeah it is now this is coming from database now okay you can see the pages you have got the four pages now i can to navigate to other pages 10 10 records in each but note that there is no summary page here in each page so where this the sorry summary rows not pages summary rows because this adds up and it gives the adds up the total value so let's just go and you can see it here you see at the end after 35 records the those two records are added now the value you just see is 261 through it's a higher value and the max value is 96 it is this summary rows a summary of 35 records not page wise it is not per page so that is the uh, way we, we should treat it so because we have added it it has taken to the end and combinedly the paging is done so not that individual page wise uh, the values are calculated because that is very clear from the at this point when we have uh, taken the record set here here this line you see we are taking the entire records and calculating it we are not taking 10 records then calculating then 10 records and calculating so that is the reason that's all friends next we'll move to the different different data sources where we'll get it from mysql sql excel csv file and all the different sources we'll try to explore and the same format we'll use it so i'll request you please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials we frequently do that if you have any doubt suggestion question post it in the comment section below and thank you for watching